Hey, hey you! No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on then. Bye. the potatoes. Please, friends, don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. M me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. I look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. Don't worry. I, I get it. Look, uh, hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh. Oh, thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. There's a... a minor issue. What? W what issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but... 
I'm trying to decide what to do with them. Damn thieves, may I take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is... Is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. Thank you. A mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it, if you don't mind. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. Goodbye. Me again. You can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, well... Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's all right. We'll keep it between us. Worse. A lot worse. Criminals and murderers. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Oh, terrible. People called them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont along with the Throgmortons and Blackwoods. Tread carefully with them. Hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? Carpenter asked me to wish you good health. Oh? Thank you. Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. Huh. 
Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on the shovel, it was used as a weapon. Tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, and stinks. Ugh, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff?
Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Why the angles is going on? Where... where am I? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus was brought in by some group who had a deal with the crematorium worker. So, Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> oh. You're James Warren, right? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? I'm sick, can't you see? A week ago, a group of people brought an unconscious man to the crematorium. I need to know who those people were. Well, it makes you think I'd know that. You got hurt that day. That's why you're in the hospital. The man you were supposed to burn knocked you out and escaped. Horse feathers. I hit my head. Fell down the stairs. You were supposed to cremate a man listed as Jack White. He escaped, and now he wants to know what's going on. So tell me... Who paid you to burn a man alive? How do you know about White? I talked to him. I need names, Warren. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I say anything. I'm toast. They'll certainly kill you if they find out Jack White is still alive. I can arrange that. No, please. No, I, I didn't ask their names. They're priests, but they ain't from St. Michael's Church, that's for sure. They were talking about the Lord of the Woods or something. Maybe from an old Oakmont church? That's all I know, I swear. Where can I find this church? I don't know. Some things in this Borg are best left alone. It's not much, but thanks. Wasn't that hard after all, was it? You got what you came for. Now leave me be. Bye. <laughs>